Hello everybody, this is Gage Castillo, the newest member of the Ishus.com. Today I am starting off a new series of app reviews for Windows 8. How exciting is that? And I will be doing things a little bit differently than I normally would with a series or with a series of app reviews in general. Uh, I'm actually planning to make this into a two-part uh, type of review for each entry into the series. First being the video review, which you are currently seeing, and secondly being the more technical, complainy type of written review. So, um, first part obviously being the more of the positive side, and second part more focusing on the cons and stuff like that. So, uh, hopefully this will be received pretty well, and I'm uh, looking forward to doing more apps. So, today's app, uh, which is called Metro Twit, is a full functioning Twitter client for the modern UI or Windows Store apps, however they want to brand it, kind of confusing, but I digress. So, uh, RetroTwit, which is better known for the, and I'll show you as I'm doing it, uh, technical issues. Oh, here we go. I don't want to upgrade because I'm just trying to show you guys the app. So it's better known for the desktop version, which was very, very popular on Windows 7 and uh, previous and uh, previous uh, OSs. So it's a really nice, full-functioning Twitter app. has URL shortening, everything you can think, all the bells and whistles, and it looks amazing. Multiple account support, obviously. Uh, this app only does Twitter, and it does it really well. So uh, you can definitely, you can definitely see this. Uh, as it is so far. So anyway, uh, we're not really here to show you this app too much. I'm going to kind of get back into the Metro version. Take a little moment and bask in the beauty of it. So as you can see, this is a very, 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 very gorgeous app. Uses the modern UI to its full extent. I think as a Twitter client, this is the best, best layout, hands down. Um, so, you know, it's a streaming client, so you can get your updates as soon as they happen. You get your notifications as soon as it happens uh, when it's not crashing. Of course, being a Windows 10 or Windows 8 being still new as it is, and uh, you still get crashes every once in a while with just all the apps. So let's go ahead and go through the features. I've seen number one. It's a gorgeous looking app. You have uh, your little timeline bars right here. You can have a total of up to three different pinned columns, or two different pinned columns, excuse me. First one being the whatever you choose right here on this end. Be the first column, second one you can pin. You can even add lists or um, search terms and stuff like that to, uh, to pin also. Uh, one of the other good features is it is a multiple account supporting Twitter clients for Windows 8, which is really, really nice. Uh, it definitely does this really well. See how easy it is to just switch from account to account. So, and it's really fast, really fluid, really nice. Uh, let's go ahead and try out the different uh, things. Uh, one thing I have to note since I'm right here, um, one of the my biggest gripes right now is that it does not have autocomplete for uh, right typing in Twitter handles. Same thing goes for hashtags, so you kind of have to manually type in Twitter handle names for now, or you can just uh, click on it and reply all. So it's kind of interesting to see how they did this. It uh, definitely takes some adjusting to get to, but um, but yeah. So uh, one of the other cool things it does have uh, really really great Windows 8 native support for uh, the camera app and all that. So let's go ahead and take a photo. And as you can see, it's me. Woo! Does have the camera support and everything. Uh, does have location support. Okay, let's close out of that. Uh, another really cool thing that I really like about uh, Windows 8 apps, especially Twitter apps, um, is that it does have the share option when you're inside the Metro browser uh, IE 10. You can go ahead and visit a website. We're going to be visiting Ishus since this is a Ishus article. And just click on a click on a nice little article right here, and we say we want to just share it to the web, or share it to our Twitter peeps. It's just that easy. Now, normally this will crash on me, so uh, 
my last time I actually did it, it didn't, but uh, this time it doesn't want to do it, right? But it's just as simple as backing out and trying again, so it's kind of a hit or mess with that. But it does work, just not on the first try. <laughs> um, and you can just easily just share that like that. So that's really cool. Uh, one of the really cool things about Metro Twit for uh, Windows 8 and Again, for some reason it wants to crash, probably because I'm video recording and using up a lot of resources. Really, really gorgeous. And let me go ahead and uh, find something else to pin. Really, really gorgeous uh, snap view. It's really excellent to work with. Really, it's just, it's the best experience I've seen so far. You could see, just, it's amazing. They spent a lot of time working to make this right, and I definitely applaud them for that. So you can just go through your mentions and stuff like that. Really nice. It'd be streaming. You can snap it to your left or right side of the screen. Really awesome. So uh, this pretty much is the Metro Twit for Windows 8. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. Hopefully it was informative. And uh, we'll get more into more details about the cons. I obviously you saw how many times it crashed so far. Um, but it usually it usually behaves for the most part. But being Windows 8 is a newer platform and everything, uh, it's to be expected, especially being an early adopter. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Pretty much it. Uh, Gage Castillo out.